I think it's very evident in this video. It's not to promote, like, hatred toward any people. It's just trying to actually say, hey, there is an issue, and we are trying to talk about it to the biggest audience that we can. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Meza. A new song has come out by Banda MS and Ice Cube. This isn't the first track that Banda MS has done with a American rap artist. They've also done one with Snoop Dogg called Que Maradicion. But Banda MS and Ice Cube, apparently this is a project. They've come together and I want to do a reaction video to it. I'm going to sit here, try to listen to the Spanish side and try to talk about the Spanish side. But majority of what I'll be able to talk about is going to be the English side just because I don't speak Spanish really well. Hide the Mexican flag. That's there. All right, since the U.S. declared national-wide martial law, many Americans are trying to escape across the southern border of Mexico. So, it this hasn't happened. So, I guess the premise of the video is that you have to imagine that the U.S. has declared martial law and Americans are trying to escape. It's Banta, M.S.A., and Ice Cube. That was cool. Anyone who's ever listened to Ice Cube before, or anybody who's ever heard any NWA songs, you know that even though like NWA as a group was some hard people, and you know that a lot of rappers that Ice Cube works with are also very hard people, but Ice Cube, every time he's ever come on a track, I'm just like... There's the tough guy. There's the, like, he's not necessarily the boss, but he is, like, you don't mess with him. He's the tough guy. He's the guy that you just know to respect. And he just put respect on Banda M S Oh, my gosh. That was great. ¿Cuáles fronteras? Si somos de los mismos. Aquí ya no hay bandera. Alright, so my broken Spanish. They're asking for prayers. Yeah, that's really all I got was bro they're asking for prayers. Uh, I actually was looking at the scenery. So it looks like they're in the California area, somewhere really close to the border. And uh, California looks like Mexico by Mexico sometimes. My opinion, though. It, you, you can have the total opposite, and I wouldn't be offended. So, I, I know that I got to the Ice Cube part, but I do like, in this one, compared to the Snoop Dogg song that Banda MSA did, Banda MSA stays true to, like, the their style of singing. And when I say Banda MSA, I really mean Alan and Oswaldo. They stayed very, like, uh, proper, kind of like most bandas stay, and whenever they're singing. But in this one, I, I like how they're actually having fun with the hip-hop undertones that's in this song. If I had to be honest, this song at the moment sounds way more uh, banda than it does hip-hop. Whereas Que Maradicion sounded more a little bit of a little bit of both. But I do like that in this one, they're, they're dancing in a... <laughs> I guess to like a way that growing up as a half Mexican, a lot of times like I would be made fun of. I would be told I was dancing not like a Mexican. Like, oh, mira, Dylan, baila como reggaeton. And you know, like in real life, I don't know what, I don't know how to dance reggaeton. Get your, get your hands up. We gon' show them we can stand up. Load the band up, man up, and spark the band up. Let's go. go. So it's talking about just getting kids, getting family out of their bad situation, wherever they are. And, and this story, it seems like America's in a bad place. Uh, people are doing drugs, people are doing bad things, and they want to get out of where they are. And they want to travel to a peaceful place, which apparently in this video is Mexico. So I do feel like this is a metaphor. It's pretty obvious it's a metaphor. <laughs> 
Okay, so this time I did listen to the Spanish and I was able to pay attention to the video. So they're walking through like very deserty looking land. They're walking across the wall and anyone who's ever grown up in a Hispanic culture, one that's, you know, it's very normal to talk about border crossings. It's a lot of times there's different ways, different methods. And it, right now they seem to be doing just the casual walk along the border trying to find a way. Um, my family didn't do this. They crossed the river. So I just, this right here interests me because this is new to me. Erase, you cannot erase. I can try to run, you can try to chase, but I'll be gone without a trace. Uh, it was showing that one guy who was leading that looks like a coyote. Now, I do know that my family, someone had to use those, and coyotes are not people you want to be tangled with. They can literally, you can go to them and they promise that they get you across the border. And I have a family friend who one time paid for a coyote and then he was kidnapped by the coyotes. I, I listen to anyone whenever they have an opinion about something, but the moment you start talking about coyotes, I think you need to listen to that person and just be gentle with them as a person. Because if you're desperate enough to use one, you you are a desperate person you know whatever people are ever running away from it's you, you, once coyotes get involved i think you need to understand that that's not something that you do unless you're desperate oh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> he said, Bamanos Cube. Oh. oh man, Alan and Suazo died too. What's going on? So I am Mexican American and I grew up in this country and I look white and I will be honest with you, I take full advantage of it every single day that I grew up in America and I do take advantage of the fact that I look white. Whenever someone has a conversation like this where race gets involved, I'm sorry, it's just sometimes talking is all you can do. I don't have any respect for your for your for you being comfortable. If that's your goal in life, then you're going to live very ignorant to a lot of problems that people have. And I think the reason the band members put themselves in this video is already dead is because even though they get to celebrate the ride of being in the U.S. because they have, they have concerts in the U.S. all the time, I have the right of being here because I'm born American by, na by national right, national right, national right, whatever that word is. At the end of the day, I don't want to see people who are born with a different skin color or from a different country be treated horribly. Not my problem, not my fight. I think those days are over. They are. And I think that's part of what this whole song is about, you know. It's America, a very big time Mexican band. I mean, this is like Mexico's... I'm going to say that they're Mexico's number two biggest band. Really happy with Banda MS they're doing this song. Also, Ice Cube. Like, Ice Cube. I didn't know he had, like, feelings about, you know, this whole issue. You know, the border and all this. Because I... <sighs> you just don't know until someone talks. You know what I mean? I think it's very evident in this video... It's not to promote, like, hatred toward any people. It's just trying to actually say, hey, there is an issue, and we are trying to talk about it to the biggest audience that we can. Yeah, I really like the song. Um, it's not what I expected. The moment I found out months ago that Ice Cube and 
but I'm not a mess so we're gonna do a song together I thought it was just gonna be another que mala edición like another like just romantic ballad with a American artist and Mexican banda but this is this is great I'm very happy that they took a stance on saying hey there's like talk about things that you know people that don't even hear us need to hear us and that's what this song did you know for every american ear even though i'm not one who they're necessarily like trying to reach because i'm actually part mexican it is like really cool that they were trying to reach out to americans and uh i hope y'all if y'all didn't know about the border crisis i encourage y'all to go look at videos about it and it's not there's not there's not too little content there's a lot out there if you're new to my channel like subscribe thank you for watching